We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Los Angeles Chargers and the San Francisco 49ers. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. And the Chargers coming out on the field now. And here's a six-year man, Austin Eckler. And not a whole lot there, maybe a yard to the 27. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. They did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. And when the defense wins and gets up no yardage on a running play, that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Herbert. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked up by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. And the Niners are going to take possession of the football. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Yeah. And oh, he caught it up. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. With a second, they declined the penalty. I'm as puzzled as you are, partner. I don't understand how any time you lose possession of the ball, yet you turn down a penalty that would give you possession back. Now let's make this simple. Anyone who plays the game, take the football. Always take the football. Herbert on first down now. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. It'll be a gain of five. And it's second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Short completion, just four yards. And now two yards to go on third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. That's just what you call a chain mover right there. Nothing fancy. Get the ball out to the back, and you're asking him to make a little bit extra out of maybe what is nothing. And he does exactly that, picks up the first down. I can't wait till we get to the point, partner, where we're not saying chain mover, but we're saying laser pointer picks it up for the first down. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. 
So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 41. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And this will be broken up and incomplete. Now a penalty flag down, and they may be going backward here. Well, they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You should got to pick up a holding call. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Here's Herbert. Over the mid, and it's a fumble. And now it's a scooped up by the 49ers. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And a pretty good burst there as he get this across midfield and down to the 46. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme, when you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole and just go, it's sometimes a thing of beauty. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. From the 41, Garoppolo. This pass to Jennings, and he makes the catch. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And some room to work. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. 15 for the Niners there to first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. Be a and the ball is knocked out. And picked up by the Chargers. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Over to the Chargers now with a first and 10. At about the 32. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Herbert throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. They'll fake the handoff, now Herbert. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's four. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. And it's a fake here on fourth and inches. It's such a risky play there to fake it, 
You're either the hero or the GOAT. Here they're going to be the GOAT. Unfortunate, too, because you know they thought they had something there. They don't call it just to call it. They don't just say, oh, what the heck, let's go ahead and fake it here. They feel like they've got something on. They've got the defense in the right spot. Just unsuccessful in that opportunity. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. That ball caught. Brandon Ayuk. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. An ideal beginning to drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Now a give right side McCaffrey. Taken down at the 30. I feel like I can see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. On play action, it's Garoppolo. And this is caught, Jennings. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. 25 yards that time. Time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes, because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he sidestepped one man, but reinforcements come to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. The line of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal. Again, McCaffrey, and not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. This has not been a fun sequence for him at all. First and goal, no gain. Second and goal, he ends up losing yardage. He may be trying to talk him into getting the ball third time, but it's going to be difficult for him to win that battle. Garoppolo now on third and goal. Now he's got it. Touchdown, 49ers! Jerome Jennings from six yards away. And the 49ers put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. Taken in at the three. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They're probably lucky to only be down 7-0 as they come up first and 10. Now it's Herbert. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. 
So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. After one, seven nothing on the A Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two. The Chargers on third down, just one for three thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler, and he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. By the skin of their teeth, they are able to convert on third and inches. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. Oh, what a move. Partner, how he managed to get positive yardage out of that run, I have no idea. But a little juking, a little moving. Got it done. Got him two yards. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. Once more, here's Eckler. Well, they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Back deep, Ray Ray McLeod. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the 49ers will take over deep in their own territory. Garoppolo gonna bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. And he'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Completes it to Jennings. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. And we're going to stop play here, at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. But hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. handoff McCaffrey running right and he'll work this forward for about three at second down not a lot of running room there not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases three yards on that last carry here's second and seven a shotgun snap for Garoppolo and that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. 
He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Well, that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. On fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. DeAndre Carter back deep. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their own 26. They started on the ground with Eckler, dancing away at the 35. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. On first and 10, Herbert. Throwing middle, and it's complete. A gain of eight there on the play. And yeah, that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Looking for Allen, he's got him on the slam. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 45-yard line. Herbert with a connection to Allen for a Charger first down. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Give him another one right back to Allen. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A really good pickup of 28 yards. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. So the completion results there in 9 yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler taking it in from seven yards away. And the Chargers are an extra point away from drawing level. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front. Offensive line, collected victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? So all even at seven now as they kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. 
the 49ers offense making its way back out there. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 26. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Got a man. That's IU. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. That's caught by Jennings. A six-yard pass on back-to-back -back plays. Picks up the first. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far in second down. That was close to a big play, just a little bit too far that he was led. He caught it, but couldn't stay in bounds, Charles. Hey, I'm not very good at these sort of things, but I have to believe the farther you are downfield, the less your margin for error in throwing the ball, correct? Yep. Yeah, so they gave it a good effort there. Really tried, just couldn't complete it. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. Another grab here for the dynamic Christian McCaffrey. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Here comes Carter. 44-yard punt, return of nine. And that will help the offense as they take over. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want... He's got him in, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver, although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. First down, Justin Herbert on the screen. This is Eckler, and they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively, and the key to any screenplay is space to work, and there was none to be found there, and they tackle it for just a short game. Now the Chargers hustling, trying to get up and get set. To throw again on second down. Herbert wide open. It's Allen complete. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. So the penalty rightfully declined. They'll keep the yardage on the completion. Still some disagreement by the defense, though, because he thought that was just good, strong coverage, and the contact's going both ways, so why is there a flag? In the end, though, doesn't matter. Still a completed pass.
Herbert on first down now. Allen's got it complete. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Herbert back to the air. Out left, he's got it to Everett. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Herbert operating from the red zone, escaping the pressure right. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Ball at the eight here for second and a yard. Maybe a touch less. Back to throw here, Herbert. The quick slant caught. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Trying to punch it in with Eckler. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Austin Eckler with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chargers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. On his Hopkins now for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Makes the score with Chargers 14, 14 49ers 7. Let's go, baby. Turn it up. That's what it is, baby. That's the deal, y'all. Get that. Man, I've seen that play a lot of times already. Let's get some low. Oh, let's turn it up. Come on with it, man. Dustin Hopkins. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Niners ready to go on offense for the final time of this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. So we have reached halftime. Intermission with the visiting Chargers on top. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Take it in at the three. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. 
And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. The last run got six, now second and four. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. That's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Here's Garoppolo to throw. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. Now left side on the swing pass. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play. But we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Looking to throw again on second down. Garoppolo. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And some room to maneuver. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. 32 yards for Christian McCaffrey, and the 49ers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, we've said it many times, he is always a threat to go the distance anytime he's got the ball in his hands, and on this occasion, he did just that. Well, he's definitely the guy that makes this offense go when you're an RB1 running back one. You've got to be willing to be patient at times as well. Not every run's going to be the home run run we saw there. But once you get that opportunity and that opening, you take full advantage. Taking it about the one. DeAndre Carter returning it. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Now a look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. 
After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On second down and four. Herbert to the sideline. And wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feed down complete. So the completion good for just three. And that'll leave him with a third and two. Up the middle with Eckler. Well, he's taken down, but not before picking up the first thanks to a flashy little spin move. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Herbert now. Got an open man, it's Josh Palmer. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage. Because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. And Herbert able to get this one Eckler out of the backfield. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 44-yard line. Two big plays in succession, and the Chargers on the move. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Eckler now between the tackles. And he gets it down to the 32. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. On first down, it's Herbert. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Throwing again on second down. Herbert will find Williams on the slant. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 15-yard line. A charger first there as Herbert finds Williams. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. Usually the offense has an answer to anything a defense throws at them, including a safety valve. And that's what they did on that play. They went there, but the defense still made an excellent play and held them to no gain. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. This back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. 
just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. To the air again, Herbert. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop it. Third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution. The nickel defense, that fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield in coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. So a response there to the touchdown of the opening drive of this third quarter as they're able to reclaim the lead. And I think he'll take that because obviously you'd like to be able to match them touchdown for touchdown, but the first order of business was to get the lead back, and they've done that. Now you want to give a good pep talk to your defense to take it from there. at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Second and five now, Garoppolo. They'll find Ayuk open right side. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Garoppolo to Ayuk, first down 49ers. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight one, they fired a bullet in there for the completion. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Three quarters have come and gone. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. Yeah, he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the plays we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. And that is incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And it's off the left upright. Oh, my goodness. 
goodness, heartache. It's no good. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. So this game's had a little bit of everything. Here's another little something, a potential game-tying fourth-quarter field goal that winds up hitting iron. And there's always a chance that it's going to hit and bank itself in, but no such luck that time. And that's a body blow right there. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw going into the hands of Williams. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Here's second and a yard. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. Four yards the pickup, first down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. First down, and they stick with Eckler. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Dre Greenlaw in there on the tackle. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. The offense on third down tonight, three for seven so far in this game. This is third and ten. Here's Herbert. And that's into the hands of Eckler. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that. But let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. Let's ride, dog. It's all do us, man. We're following the main field goal for three Hopkins now to kick it off. Fielded just outside the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And a very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. And San Francisco gets set to go here. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now Garoppolo. Open man is Samuel. Now a loose football. The ball comes out and picked up by the Chargers. On the move past the 40. Still on his feet. And he will not get all the way home, but he will take this back down at about the two-yard line. Eckler. Touchdown, Chargers. We talk so often about how hard it is to win in the NFL when you turn the ball over. And here a late turnover leads to a fourth quarter touchdown and a two-score lead. And what's more important is being able to take advantage when a turnover presents itself. You've got to come up with points to make the other guy pay. They're able to do so here. And they've got a pretty good chance now of winning this football game. And they'll have Herbert try and throw for it. Flushed out right, and he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. 
Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field. But right now, they're in a bit of a tough spot here, CD. You trail them by double digits. Remember the last time out. They fumbled. They're going to have to play some clean football here on this possession. And all the talk on their sideline has been about taking care of the football, making sure that they're handling the ball correctly. So you know they'll be squeezing the rock pretty tight here. They just have to be careful not to go so hard in doing that that they actually cause themselves other problems. Take care of the ball, but still try and play free and natural. 16 yards right off the bat with a first down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. On first down, Garoppolo. Eluding the pressure right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary. All of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Garoppolo. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Third down. Here's McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Now Garoppolo, got to have this one. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on down. Running on first down, Eckler. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Eckler going to get it again on second down. It'll be a five-yard pickup there. So from second and 13, they're back to a more manageable third and eight. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Got a man. It's complete. It's Palmer. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? And he will get in across the chalk for a Chargers touchdown. Austin Eckler, a three-yard touchdown run.
And the Chargers have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. What a game it's been for him in the backfield, Charles, as he pounds it into the end zone yet again. Yeah, and he hits the end zone one more time, and his blockers cleared all those lanes. Before the snap, they called for the heavy unit, right? Three tight ends coming on the field, and they got the job done clearing the way. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Taken in at the three. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds. They've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that. And I think the ball's out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Offensively, they're just not playing a very clean football game right now. This deficit, there's a fumble. Good news for them, at least, that went out of bounds. You're exactly right, and as they breathe a sigh of relief, you know they're looking at the scoreboard, thinking to themselves, if we turn it over there, Things could really get rough for us trying to make a comeback in this game. From the 29, Garoppolo. That's caught. It's McCaffrey again. And he'll lose yardage here. Going down back at the 28. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. And that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying it is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize that it's broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try to pick up the first down on third down. That that way you don't lose any yardage. Garoppolo on first down. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Now a play fake, Garoppolo. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 27 yard line. That's good for 28 yards. A three score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Second and 10 now from the 27. Here's Garoppolo to throw. And this pass caught by Gray. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 12-yard line. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where his coaches you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. 
The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. From the four, it's second and a couple. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. And this is incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions in what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. They'll run with a fullback, use check. And not only did he not get in the end zone, he didn't get the first down either. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And Brand, I think they're the type of team that just looked at the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory.